Hello everyone. Here, question number 17 is again a bit different. I am saying different because in the last question, we have put only one variable and we have exchanged it in the last. Here there are two factors, like one is 2a minus 3 and one factor is a minus 1. So here we can put 2a minus 3 as a variable like x and a minus 1 another factor as another variable like y because we cannot put the two different factors as the same variable. So this equation can be written as 4 x square minus 3 x and this value is y minus 7 y square. This has been converted to the question which we have already done. Now 4 multiplied by minus 7 is minus 28. So the multiplication should be minus 28 and the sum should be minus 3. Now if in case we want to divide minus 28 into two factors where sum is 3, it can be minus 7 and plus 4. Minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3 and minus 7 multiplied by plus 4 is minus 28. So 4x square minus 7xy plus 4xy. This 3xy we have converted to minus 7xy and 4xy minus 7y square. So if I take x common, it becomes 4x minus 7. When I take plus y common in these two, it is also 4x minus 7y. This is y. So the two factors are x minus uh, x plus y and 4x minus 7. Now, as I already told you that 2a minus 3 we have put as x and a minus 1 we have put as y. So here also the value of x and y can be put as 2a minus 3 and a minus 1. So the first factor becomes 2a minus 3, the value of x plus the value of y is a minus 1. This is the first factor. And the second factor becomes 4 into the value of x that is 2a minus 3 plus, sorry, it is minus 7 into the value of y that is a minus 1. Further we have to solve it. 2a plus a becomes 3a. Minus 3 and minus 1 becomes minus 4. So 3a minus 4 is the first factor. And the second factor becomes 2a a. 4 into 2a minus 12, 4 multiplied by minus 3, minus 7a plus 7. And to this we can write as a minus 5. So the two factors becomes 3a minus 4 as the first factor and a minus 5 as the second factor. I already told you way back that this can also be solved in another way. And that way is if I solve 2a minus 3 ka whole square, 2a minus 3 multiplied by a minus 1 and a minus 1 whole square and then to factorize, then also we will get the same answer but that will be a difficult method to solve. Here also if I look at 2x square plus 5x and here it is 2x square plus 5x plus 19. Again if I put the value of 2x square plus 5x as a variable t. So this can be written as t multiplied by t plus 19 plus 84 or to this value I can write t square plus 19t plus 84. We know that we have to factorize the middle term, the sum should be 19 and the multiplication should be 84. So these two terms are 12 and 7. So it is 12t and 7t plus 84. So this is t square. When I take t common in the first two terms, it is t plus 12. When I take plus 7 common in the last two terms, again it is t plus 12. So the answer becomes t plus 7 and t plus 12. If I put the value of t as 2x square plus 5x, again it is 2x square plus 5x plus 7 as the first factor and 2x square plus 5x plus 12 as a second factor. This can also be solved in another way but we always try to find out in the least possible or the easiest manner. If in case you have any problem regarding this, you can email us.